Hi guys, uh, Gigi here. Today we have a Volkswagen Golf 1.4 TSI 2013 or 14, something like that. Uh, that came in with a strange issue uh, with an error code uh, P011100. <coughs> Implausible signal for the air temperature, uh, uh, for the intake air temperature sensor. Uh, the car had uh, um, um, uh, the guy tried to change the the sensor. Uh, same result. Uh, try to uh, yeah look for the wires and all that. Uh, same result. And then he said, you know, I don't know what uh, what can I do anymore. I am bringing the car to you so you can take a look at it. Um, let's take a look. Uh, uh, Let's take a look at it uh, and, and see what the problem uh, is or was because I found the problem but it was quite a simple uh, solution uh, but nobody thought about that. So here we have the, the engine bay. Uh, we have one uh, temperature sensor pressure and pressure and temperature sensor here on the intake manifold. Uh, no, on the before the, the, the throttle body down here. And then we have one on the intake manifold uh, and the intercooler is down here. Uh, yesterday I've split apart everything here and I measure the wires from the sensors to the ECU. Uh, all cables were uh, okay, everything was uh, perfect, no uh, cables uh, broken or nothing like that. So here we have the temperature sensor, the cable goes down under the air filter and here we have the ECU. I took everything apart, uh, checked all the wires, checked, measured the, the sensors, uh, tested the, the, the values, tested the, yeah, the resistance uh, of the temperature sensor, everything uh, was spot on. Um, before that we run some diagnostics, the code comes and goes, so it's not something permanent. Uh, car can drive uh, five, six hundred kilometers without the problem, and then suddenly the, the error car comes. So we decided, uh, yeah, I didn't know exactly what should I do anymore, and uh, we are going to look at some uh, data, raw data from 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 the ECU first. So we are in the menu uh, of the ECU. Uh, we want to read the data stream. I have uh, already selected the temperature. Let's see. Uh, we don't need this, we need something with the temperature. So I took the higher temperature intake manifold uh, and before the total body. Okay, let's see some data. Well, one says 18 degrees Celsius and the other one says 75.8, so something is it's off here. Yesterday, when I uh, when uh, we started the car, uh, there was a difference, but it was very small. One was, I think, it was uh, 20, and the one was uh, 29 or something like that. Uh, I said, okay, the air comes in uh, a little bit colder, goes through all the system, and it getting a little bit hotter on the second uh, on the second temperature sensor. Um, and Today, when I came home, I started the car and the first thing I saw, it was that the temperature sensor on the intake here, on, on, on before the throttle body, was showing me minus 8. And I remember the customer said he changed the sensors. So let's try to switch the connectors on the sensors and see what happens. If the cable is long enough, I will just pull them out. And... So now I swapped the two sensors and I connect with disconnected. I can see a temperature here, minus 40, minus 40. When you disconnect the sensor, that should be minus 40. Connect the first one. Let's see if it's waking up. No, it's not waking up. I have to cycle the ignition, I think. Let's go back and try again. Whoa, look at this, 40 and 42, the values are very close to each other and they fit. And the error code was P0111, uh, 
implausible uh, signal. So it correlates the, the temperatures and uh, something was off and you could see it by yourself. So what do we learn from here when you swap sensors? They are not the same. Just uh, make sure you, you change the correct ones. So this is a very simple lesson uh, and a very short uh, <laughs> repair to say so. I lost a few hours because I didn't thought about the simplest thing at the start. Check the temperature, see if the sensors are showing the correct temperature, see if the ECU sees the correct temperature and then start looking for wires and splitting things apart. So take things uh, slowly and start with the most simple things like a fuse or or something like that when you when you start uh, doing diagnosis uh, I learned my lesson uh, I always think about the hardest thing that can possibly possibly be wrong because um, all the cars that come here um, are desperate people that tried the all the garages all the workshops all the dealers and uh, nobody could do nothing for them and then i'm the last uh, resort and that's why always i think you know whoever did this uh, diagnosed this car before me tried such things well uh, lesson learned see you next time guys